People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe. Because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. Soft plaque is what causes the risk. You know, you go back, Martin, and you look at the autopsy done on Tim Russert. The pathologist said, oh gosh, I went into his arteries in his heart and it looked like the face of a teenager with a bad case of acne. These little pustules all over the place, whiteheads. And what happened? One of those whiteheads broke when that pus came out, it formed a clot. That clot blocked the artery in his heart. And when that artery blocked, a large portion of his heart tissue lost oxygenation. When it lost oxygenation, it went into a chaotic rhythm called V-fib, ventricular fibrillation. You know, on the TV shows where they come running in with the defibrillator and they have the two paddles and they put them on the chest and they say, clear. That's what they're dealing with. They're dealing with the V-fib that killed Tim Russert and kills so many people. With the, half the people that have a heart attack have V-fib and have immediate death. It's called sudden cardiac death. And we've done videos on that. Sudden cardiac death comes from V-fib. And that's what happens. It's some of that soft bouncy plaque releases. It causes a clot. The clot stops, clogs the artery, and you go into V-fib. That's what this thing about having defibrillators all over the place. They did ha actually have a defibrillator in his office, I think. He was the bureau chief for the DC office for whatever news. It was one of the top three news offices at that time. They tried a local defibrillation, didn't work. They took him to the hospital and again, pronounced him dead.